Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to download images onto your iPhone. So you can save them whether you're looking on Yahoo or Google. You can save any pictures onto your iPhone, into your camera roll, and therefore you can use them for your wallpaper or for anything really. You can send those pictures to a friend or just save them for school project or anything. Anyways, uh, so we're just going to go into Safari. On Safari I already typed in cars, I went to images as you, see, as you can see. Um, so instead of web, just click on images, you see the images. Now to save them onto your phone, it's pretty easy. If this doesn't work, holding your finger on top of one. See, it doesn't give me the option to actually save the image. So we're just gonna put cancel on that. We're actually gonna click on the image till it opens up like this. So we have to wait for it a second or two till you can actually see the full resolution of it. Um, then hold your finger on it and you're gonna see save image. So we're just gonna put save image. Okay, or you can actually even copy it and then paste it onto a document or email. But um, in this case, we press save the image. So let's just go into another image. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll down. I'm just picking random images. Um, so we're gonna save this car as well. Okay, so once again, we hold our finger on top of the image and then we press save image. Okay, so we get out of that. Let's say we want that for our wallpaper. We can just go into settings. Okay, then wallpaper. Inside wallpaper, you guys are gonna see choosing wallpaper. Okay. And you can go down to photos and recent. Okay, so recently added. You can go down here, open this up, and put that as a new background. Okay, so that's how you can customize your iPhone. Um, now, let's say you don't want to use that image for that. You can use it for anything really. It's on your, under your camera roll, so you just go to photos. It's on your camera roll. Okay, so you can send the image by email or anything like that. So right now you have it on your phone, you downloaded it, and you can use it pretty much for anything. Okay, the resolution is not bad actually. Um, now resolution wise, it does depend on your preferences on your iPhone, on what resolution what you're looking for as well. So you could go into Safari for example and just look at different resolutions. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna scroll up. Okay, so you know where it says more? You can go to search tools and then further your investigation so you can get better images. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys are having any problems or any questions, please write them here below in the comments area. Remember this video does apply to your iPad, iPhone, uh, whichever iPhone you have from iPhone 6 Plus to your 3GS if you still have one. Um, same thing goes for iPad Touch, it works the same way to save any images. Uh, once again, any problems, comments, write them here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.